So here's the scoop, guys. I have a cat. He's five months old, and he's a boy. But uh, he's been telling me. He's been telling me that he wants to be a girl. So what am I to do, you know, as a pet parent? I have to listen, right? Because he knows what he wants. He's only five months old, but that's like grown up, right? That's like grown up status. So why, why isn't our tax dollars paying for this? I'm, I'm outraged. Like our tax dollars should pay for gender affirming cat care. He wants his tutu, all right? So I made an appointment and we're gonna go there tomorrow. And you can be a girly girl, huh? Hey, hey, <laughs> he's gonna love it. We'll see how it goes. Man, I tell you what, it's been uh, eerily quiet in the house. Without the dukester around, pestering me, bugging me for food, getting in the paint, knocking things over. Now I kind of kind of miss it. You don't know what you have till it's gone, right? But uh, we're gonna go. Uh, gonna go pick him up from transition surgery. See how he's doing. Well, Kitty's back. Oh, I don't know what happened, but. They put the tutu around his neck. I don't think that was what he was looking for. But, uh, yeah. Halfway through it, he decided to kind of change his mind. They cut off his, uh, his apples. But they, they left the twigs, you know? And, uh, yeah, he changed his mind at the last second. Hey, I want to stay a boy now, you know what I mean? What am I to do, you know? No more no more kittens, I guess. So if this all sounds a little ridiculous, it's because it is. You know what I mean? I think uh, a lot of us are just tired of all of this being crammed down our throats constantly from all angles. Just cram it down there. You're gonna love it. You have to like it or else. You know, I'm a big live and let live kind of person. Like, you know, you do you, I'm gonna do me. Just leave me the hell alone and keep me out of it. You know what I mean? But uh, no, it's gotta be paraded up and down the streets. It's gotta be in the school systems. It's gotta be everywhere. It even made it into the gun applications. Like how crazy is that? Yeah. And it's like, I don't think forcing people is the answer, you know? Like, you, you better call me by my pronouns or else. I got news for you. No. No, I'm not calling you by you. What? No. I don't know what kind of imaginary fairy tale land you live in, but I'm not joining you there. And you know what? I was blown away the other day because I went to get a haircut at a new place that was like down the street from my house. And now I have a hairdresser that I have an appointment with in like a couple of months because. He did a good job, right? And he's gay. He's a flaming gay. You know what I mean? And we're sitting there talking politics. Me and a gay dude. As I'm back in the chair and he's washing my hair and massaging my head. Yeah. And it was crazy because, uh, you know, we actually saw eye to eye on a lot of different things. It's like the news and the media and all these different platforms they make it seem like everybody just totally disagrees and everybody hates each other but if you actually get out there in your own community and actually go and talk to somebody you might find that you have more in common than you think just saying yeah guys i just wanted to uh you know show how ridiculous all of this is but uh yeah what's the uh spay wagon so if you have a cat and you're thinking about getting them spayed or neutered, it's like a mobile home that kind of travels around, goes to different places. And, uh, I mean, they bang out some cats in a day. Holy crap. It's like you have a whole line of people outside the trailer. All the cats go in, and they're like, okay, come back in a couple hours. And they just, I have no idea how they get so many cats done so fast, but they do. 
but they kind of aggravated me because well first off he duke got the full package like he got oil change spark plugs tune up he got everything microchip you know vaccinations everything uh, but they left out one key piece of information that kind of irritated me as they shaved his stomach and tattooed him And I was like what in the hell did you tattoo my cat for? He's not a piece of cattle And they're like, oh, that's that's so that we can tell that he's uh, you know, he's been neutered and I'm like Wait, you can't just look at the dangly bits and figure that out You had to t Like I get it for a female cat, but for a male cat you had to tattoo his stomach so he's like recovering already from that and then you're gonna give him a stomach tattoo? I mean, I wish you said something because I would have told you not to do it. And just FYI, if you have a feisty cat like I do, uh, I don't recommend these. I saw somebody had one, I'm like, oh, that looks way more comfortable. Yeah. He can slip out of this in 0.5 seconds flat. I even tried wiring this to his body harness and he still slipped out of it. I tried putting his collar in there. The only thing I didn't try is zip tying it, but I wasn't gonna do that. So that thing is garbage. But uh, yeah, I found, I found this one, the old cone style. This one he hasn't been able to slip out of because these donut styles, he can get his back legs on it and just push it right off. This one, he's got nothing to put his back legs on, pull it off. But when I'm home and I can watch him, I take it off so it doesn't drive him nuts. Because uh, when, when Duke gets mad, uh, he is a wrecking ball. And he will let you know that he's angry. Yeah, you don't want to be around when he's pissed. Doesn't he look just so sweet? Uh, guess what, he's not. He's already getting me back for putting this thing around his neck. He can't get this one off. And it irritates the crap out of him. So this morning, around three o'clock in the morning, he runs over there, deposits some nuclear waste because he eats human grade cat food. So it's just, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. And then he was trying to bury his evidence with this thing around his neck, and he ended up using this as a, a scoop, I guess. Ice cream scoop. And then he came running into the bedroom around 3.15, and that's usually the time he'll lay on my chest and just sit there and wait for me to wake up so I can feed him. And he's like this. And this thing is rubbing against my chin. And I woke up and I was like, whoa, what is that smell? And uh, I realized that I had Duke's nuclear waste all over my chin. Yeah. Sinister little kitty, aren't you? I bet you planned that, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I know you did. Now it's your dunce cap. Dunce cap! Yeah, anyways. See you later.